Hi, hello and welcome to DVM Daily Vaping News. Today I'm going to review another atomizer for you. I got this by uh, Lightsig USA and um, in, this, uh, in this case it's not really an atomizer, it's the Aromizer RDTA made by Steamcrave. Okay, um, let's start with the box and I will show you the details of the box and then we go a little bit further later on. And so over here we can see Aromizer RDTA, Rebuildable drip, Dripper Tank Atomizer and there's a steam crave with the logo. Here we got a, a little technical drawing and over here we have a real RDTA tank system. On this side we just have a logo. Over here we have uh, yeah, the logo and uh, we can see steamcrave.com designed by BJ and on the back we got the sign again the logo, uh, a little instruction, and there you can see patent number, stuff like this. Over here we got the, the EAN, there is the QR code, and over here you can scratch and check if you really have an authentic Steam Crave aromizer. And um, yeah, in the next uh, scene, we go a little bit into the box itself, we do a little bit of unboxing, but uh, yeah, we do this uh, in a close up. So I will give you a vape curtain, and after that, we go further. Okay, welcome to my close up here. And uh, yeah, now we're going to do a little of unboxing. Okay, let's have a look what's inside. First, we see here this uh, spare O rings and some spare screws. We see these two vape bands. Um, these are not just vape bands, these are also for the airflow. So these are airflow control rings. This one, uh, the first one has got two holes, so two will be closed completely, and the other one uh, is with four holes. We've got this spare glass inside, very nice. We've got this sticker. And a user's manual. Put all this stuff back and uh, get this aromizer out. Okay, so let's start with the uh, aromizer now itself. The first thing uh, thing we see here is uh, this 510 threads, so it's uh, fitting to the most common mods and boxes. Uh, um, we've got some silver plated contacts here in the bottom and um, the aromizer itself can take uh, 3 milliliters it's having a diameter of 23 millimeters um, it's having this quad or with a vape band uh, dual airflow and now we can see the drip tip and uh, as you can see there's something in the bottom and you see this here and this is what you call the redirected airflow drip tip and uh, I think the, the best um, feature of it if, if you have a spitting um, coil or something you won't get into your mouth anymore so um, yeah it's uh, already uh, also um, taken the condensation and uh, I think it's got some features with it so um, let's take it apart. Okay, here we got the deck. Uh, as you can see, we have a two-post deck, and uh, yeah, we've got enough space for liquid. So um, very nice. Okie dokie. Let's have a look at this here. So in here, you see um, we have a direct uh, to deck liquid feeding system. And uh, over here you can see it's very nice protected, so um, the liquid won't go into the middle. This is very nice. Um, yeah, you can take it apart easily, so um, yeah, you can also clean it very easy. And that's, uh, I think that's very important. And sure, everything is made out of uh, stainless steel. So, okay, 
let's put this together again. Okie dokie. So, let's check this here. So, you, as you can see, we have got these two posts, and uh, yeah, we can to, we can make a dual coil system. But uh, this is what I'm showing you now. Okay, so um, let's go on. Um, I already have my 521 tab here. And um, yeah, the first thing you have to do, normally, now I already prepared it, you have to open up the screws. Uh, the best thing uh, is, if you, is if you open it up all the way. So um, now let's uh, put some coils in. Um, I've got this ready-made Claptons here. And um, you have to really have a look that they are not too wide, otherwise you will have, uh, they will have contact with the outside. Um, yeah, and you will have a short atomizer. Okay, okay. So, put it in all the way. Check it from the top. This already looks good to me. And um, yeah, first thing is um, tighten the screws. Number one. Number two. Now we can cut off the ends of the wire. And then we can put it into bring it into position a little bit. Okay, okay. Okay. little bit and this looks good to me now okay so um, to make it easier you take it back you take it back out because uh, that otherwise you will have a problem cutting off the other wires and uh, that's um, not so good Let's put it in over here. Tighten the screws again. That was uh, <laughs> the false one. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> Shit happens, huh? I was wondering why I was tightening this so easy. Okay, so uh, I better open it up again. Okay, and cut the ends off again. Number one. Number two, easy peasy. Okay, okay. So uh, next thing I have to do, I have to bring it back in position again. Sure. What I did on the other side, I have to do on this side as well. So um, this looks good to me now. I have to be a little bit of a little bit brutal in this case. Um, and okay, so now we put the other side in again. And tighten the 
screws as well. as well uh -huh. so and really tighten the screws properly and now when everything is tightened we have to put this one back into position again to so this now looks good to me now we can check okay we've got a 0 0.26 ohm and let's check how it's Okay, it's a little bit slower on the other side, so let's check if it's tightened properly. It is. So maybe we have to. Well, so let's check. looks a lot better to me okay so this looks good to me now it should fit now we check out if they fit properly that looks good to me okay now we can put uh, the cotton in prepared some stripes. Now the first thing is you wetten your fingers a little so you can do it like this, twist it and make it a little thinner. So let's try to get it through. This looks good to me. Okay, first side is done. Now we do the same to the other side. Okay. off a little because otherwise we will have too much cotton mm -hmm. I'm mostly using uh, the fiber freaks cotton because I like it very much because I'm um, having this Pima cotton and um, yeah it's a uh, it's just some very good stuff I like it a lot okay let's check still get it in otherwise we will have to cut off a little bit more but then no, it fits looks good to me otherwise no it's okay okay the, now the other side mm, you can cut a little bit off this is really too much stick a little bit into the middle to have a bit, little bit of more of a reservoir
Okay. Let's uh, prepare it a little with um, some nice juice. Okay, ski. So now we've got prepared this, and now we're gonna put some liquid in. Okay, this looks brilliant to me. Okay, now let's uh, put the deck back on and we are done. Okay, now we're gonna switch again. Hi, okay, now we're done with it. And um, I hope you, you enjoyed it, I hope you liked it. And yeah, now I'm gonna show you how this aromizer works. Wow, it's really giving a lot of taste to your uh, liquids, and um, yeah, with this uh, Clapton, it even gives a even more taste to it. And yeah, okay, thanks for watching my review, and uh, yeah, see you soon.